Hi guys, welcome to the next episode, Mycoplasma uh, hominis. Uh, so why you don't test for Mycoplasma hominis. When you go out, when you go for a sexual health screen, it is important not to test uh, for Mycoplasma hominis. This is different from Mycoplasma genitalium. Uh, and this is because Mycoplasma hominis uh, will, if you test for it, you will not gain anything from it, okay? Uh, if uh, negative, then you haven't detected this extremely common uh, bacteria. And if positive, uh, you'll then think you have an STI, which you don't. Okay, uh, just before I talk about normal colonization of Mycoplasma hominis, um, if you find this uh, helpful, uh, please uh, like, and if you want to support the channel, feel free to support via Patreon in the links in the description. Thank you. For the normal genital colonization, so for Mycoplasma hominis and uh, Europlasia species, they're part of the normal genital uh, flora, okay? And so it's very, very common. And so many uh, sexually experienced men and women will have this. The percentage of women with vaginal colonization of these organisms increases after puberty and in proportion to the number of lifetime sexual partners they've had. So by adulthood, up to 80% of healthy women have uh, Europlasia species and 50% will have mycoplasma hominis. So 50% of all women out there will have some form of uh, mycoplasma hominis uh, on board in their cervical and vaginal excretions. It's very, very common. Sexually active men are also frequently asymptomatically colonized with mycoplasma hominis uh, and can be up to around about 25 to 30% uh, in, uh, in some studies. Uh, and so this is a very common infection. If you have no symptoms, then the only sexual health screen you should do is for chlamydia, gonorrhea, HIV, and syphilis. Uh, some may uh, also test for Mycoplasma genitalium, and that's it. So men, if you have symptoms of urethritis, ideally you should go to your sexual health uh, doctor or sexual health uh, clinic, uh, and there they can take a sample and look under the microscope. If your slide shows you have NGU, so uh, non-gonococcal urethritis, or non-specific urethritis, same thing really, then it will be treated as such, even if, it is, if the cause is due to mycoplasma hominis, okay? It doesn't matter. In effect, you're not treating tests, you're treating your symptoms, and that's how it should be. Doctors should treat uh, patients on symptoms, and the tests are only there to back up uh, their decision-making processes. For women, if you have symptoms, you should, you should also be examined and have slides done, and you're in testing. And again, if your slide is positive or your internal examination is positive uh, then uh, for an infection, then you also need to be uh, treated as well. So it is unimportant uh, to treat mycoplasma hominis per se, uh, as you treat the symptoms as well as then the cause. So it doesn't matter if the cause is due to chlamydia, mycoplasma hominis, or one of the other hundreds of thousands of different types of bacteria uh, found in the vagina, the bowel, and all over our bodies. Uh, if it's got in the wrong place at the wrong time, it will cause an infection. So there's no need to really test specifically for mycoplasma hominis. Uh, so what does the science say? Well, nothing conclusive in both sexes. Some studies say it's a problem and some say it's not. So uh, for that, uh, I'll just leave you with a position statement for the European STI Guidelines Editorial Board that states routine screening of asymptomatic men and women for routine testing of symptomatic individuals for mycoplasma hominis and neuroplasma utilium and neuroplasma parvum is not recommended, okay? So why do private labs test for mycoplasma hominis? Well, I'm tempted to say it's for money. It's a very common uh, finding and usually not an infection and can be difficult to treat and is very, very easily to get again. So private labs test for this knowing they will most likely uh, get a positive result and so you can charge you for treatment. And that is why in the UK, where people um, don't have to pay for the treatment, uh, this is not tested for. It's um, a waste of time. We do not treat it if positive um, results come in our direction anyway. Uh, so I advise not to test for mycoplasma hominis, but speak to your medical doctor who has knowledge around sexual health and sexually transmitted infections. I hope you found this useful and see you in the next episode. Take care.